Well, next week's heat could feel like the triple digits. Ooh, and that could be dangerous for kids, especially the ones in summer camps. CBS News Detroit's Jack Springgate is on your block in Washtenaw County with some safety tips. School's out, which means the sun's out. As forecasts start to predict multiple days of temperatures hitting above 90 degrees, it's important to know how to keep your kids from overheating during their summer and sports camps. Proper hydration is a well-known strategy for keeping kids cool in hot temps, and that can start before you send them out for summer camp. Kids are not often hydrated just as a general rule, and so they're not drinking enough water during the day. So you have to really drink a lot of water before you go out to your practice to make sure you're extra hydrated in that setting. In addition to packing cold water, send them to camp with an electrolyte rich sports drink to help support hydration. That combination along with bright colored breathable clothes are a great start. Packing a cooler for your kids can help them find instant heat relief even when you're not around. There's a lot of these um, towels that you can get now, bringing an ice bucket um, in a small cooler. It can just be a regular kitchen towel that you bring to keep soaking in that ice cooler to actually putting on their neck when they have the water breaks because that will really help to cool down their core body temperature. Being proactive about ways to keep your kids cool is one thing, but it's just as important to know the signs of heat stroke or overexposure to the sun, which can impact kids much faster than adults. If your kid starts to get confused, if they start to have headaches, if they start to feel dizzy, those are symptoms that you really want to be aware of and understand. Even if a child isn't showing signs of heat exhaustion, regular shade and water breaks are essential to regulating body temps, especially during peak heat times between mid-morning and the late afternoon. They have a very fast metabolism and most of their body weight is water and they can't sweat as well as adults. So they need a lot more to keep them hydrated in extreme temperatures and heat. Dr. Heinen says parents only need to know one word to help keep their kids safe during these rising temps, and that word is beat, as in beat the heat. The B standing for be aware, the E standing for easily know the symptoms, A stands for act now, and T for take to further care if you notice that something's wrong. Reporting in Washtenaw County, I'm Jack Springate, CBS News, Detroit.